This video is going to be on the Alex topic, application problem with a linear function, finding a coordinate given the slope and a point. Suppose the credit remaining on a phone card in dollars is a linear function of the total calling time in minutes. When graphed, the function gives a line with a slope of negative 0.14, see the figure below. So let's go ahead and label what we know. We see this line here that represents the function, and we're given that the slope is 0 0.14, excuse me, negative 0 0.14. Now, suppose the credit remaining on the phone card in dollars, as you can see down here, the remaining credit is our y value, and our calling time in minutes is our x value. So what this graph tells us is that after 35 minutes, there is $24.90 left on this calling card. Now, in case you don't know what a calling card is, it's something that we used to use in the 90s to call internationally before cell phones. With a certain amount of money, and then as you call on them, it spends the money, right? So that's why this has a negative slope, and it's going down by a standard amount because each minute costs a certain amount of money. So what it's asking us is, how much credit will there be after 50 minutes of calls? So let's go ahead and take a look at this graph. Now I'm going to go ahead and do the 50 minutes in a different color so you can see. So after 35 minutes, it's 2490 that's left on the card. But where would 50 be if you're looking for 50 minutes on the x-axis, right? Well, it would be a little bit past 35, maybe around here. Now what's important isn't that you get this precise, but that you can make sense of this, right? Because if 50 minutes, you've been talking for 15 more minutes, there's going to be less credit left on the card, right? Less amount of money left on it. So you know that your answer is going to be less than $24.90. So think of it like you're starting with $24.90, and that was at 35 minutes. Think about how you're moving from that 35. So from that 35 to 50, we are adding 15. So our change in our x is 15. So you're adding 15, but for each change in x, you have to take into account the slope. So you have to multiply your change in x by the change in y, which is negative 0.14. So you're going to write this as an expression to represent that. So let's translate what this means. This is how much credit you have, and then you called for 15 more minutes, and each minute was costing you 14 cents. So this would be equal to 24.90 or 24.9 plus whatever 15 times 14 is, but this is going to be negative, right? Because a positive times a negative will be negative. So 15 times 0.14 will give you 2.1 or $2.10. So if it there was $24.90 on the card and you spent $2.10 more, now there's only $22.80 left.